How to win a chess game? Well, simply put, you just have to want to win. Based on everything that you've practiced and all the concepts that you, in, as an individual, um, have utilized and brought into your own game, you just then have to have that desire to win. It's as simple as that, really. So in this game here, where we've got the desire to win, we're saying we want to win this game. So we need to make sure we do the stuff right in order to maybe enhance the winning um, prospect. So we've castled, and at this point, moment in time, his queen is a little bit over there. The bishop can be attacked. So I'm going to attack the bishop, keep it simple. Double the pawns in his center for a little bit. Okay, and his queen is stuck here. I'm, I'm not sure what it's doing there. So I'm thinking, get this rook here. Maybe push a little bit in this center. I'm going to push anyway before he gets any ideas. So we're kind of up a little tempy. So I don't think he's going to take now. He's thinking, ah, I've lost tempo. So we're going to just grab. And he's going to double our pawns if we take. So I'm not bothered about that. Let's take here so we're going to get his rook off the board so get the rook off the board and let's just get the exchanges down keeping it all simple okay so now his knight's looking to come here but he can't because he's blocked at the moment so what advantage do we have now we can come across here to then work here but that might not be too good but we can come here to go here then we're attacking this pawn either way all right okay so probably best coming this way actually because there's nothing being able to protect it on this side imagine there's nothing on that side either he can do the same thing with his knight moving to actually get our pawn it's moving the king to come and protect so we may as well start pushing the pawn up now no point doing that move he's just going to bring his king further into the um, board um, where's he going with the knight maybe just go for a little bit of a blocker and he's attacking this pawn can't push there uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. so he's won a bit of a tempo there in terms of grabbing that pawn so I'm going to just jump in and attack his pawn obviously his king drops and protects there and what else do we have we've lost the pawn but we're trying to gain some type of okay let's push on to the knight and then push this pawn up the desire to win okay let's push the pawn up let's hope now we kind of greedy munches oh, is there a push down okay so he's looking to maybe get the back of the pawn oh he's attacking the head of the snake should we move up just move up a little bit because if we're looking to get rid of our pawn here let's just go for this pawn he comes down attacks the king no it doesn't go that way let's go here so he's moving dead quick like it's all sewn up but it's not okay let's bring our knight down and let's put a check on his king okay so it's not sewn up in any way shape or form we're just going to push these pawns while he's attacking down our center here um i think i can just fly here so that's no problem so far i'm feeling fairly confident that some damage is going to be occurring on this side of the board with the support from our knight once we've dealt with this situation here okay so he's moved his king so he's gonna have to move his king back again sorry there okay so just go for a check on his king let's go back attacking the pawn he might let that pawn go yeah thoughts up okay so he's looking to champion down here now is there anything else that we can have over here first yeah try and make maybe make a space i'm gonna be maybe too slow but not too slow up Or up. I need to be here. How do I get to there with my knight? 
across there down and up that's quite a lot of moves isn't it but let's go for it anyway so I'll be pushing these pawns down putting checks on my king okay let's just block there So we've got three moves in order to actually move this pawn out of the way. Um, is there a change in the, could get a 2 on one here on the pawn. Bring the knight down, attacking the pawn. His knight comes back and defends. So his knight comes back and defends, yeah. No it doesn't, okay, let's take. He's actually defending the pawn with his knight here. Um, so he's taking the pawn off in the center. We still have a replication pawn. So let's move our knight across. He's got our back pawn. Um, so can we get something of his? Again, we're too late to the party, aren't we, on that side? Uh, up. Down. Okay, let's go up. Let's go down. Pushes maybe. Okay, so he's jumped in front of our pawn, but then he's got a passed pawn, so I'm going to have to be kind of fast with my king. Is my king going to be fast enough? We take his pawns here, and then he's got three moves. So I'm going to have to block with my knight, aren't I? Oh dear. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go. He pushes, bring the knight down, get the king across. Keep going, keep going. Let's take here. Okay, so we've got a bit of protection going on. 40 odd seconds left. Let's go here. And bring the knight up, be a bit active. doesn't want our king getting into that space let's go here let's take let's take and they've resigned I'm believing that the opponent could have actually won that game but because we had the desire I think we turned it around so let's take a look at the damage that was a, we were incurring during that game okay so we pushed through oh let's take these arrows off we want to do self-analysis okay all right so I brought the bishop out attack him right from the get-go we're off the mindset of we want to win the game if we had lost then we would have lost it's fair enough but we want we had that desire to win that is the key thing after all the learning that we've done we've put it all together um, we don't really want to then sit back and go oh well I'm relying on this that and the other me as a human i'm playing the game now and i just have to make the move that i feel is right at that moment in time okay so we developed the knight uh, gauge bars working with us at the minute but again if it's not we're working with the motivation that we want to win so we grab the bishop Okay, going for all the simple stuff that is part of our mantra simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically attacking the head of the snake with the pawns and grabbing okay so it's it's near enough drawish uh, it's plus 0.3 plus 0.1 type thing that's neither here nor there so going for simple captures okay so it's working with us at this moment in time it's more drawish than anything else so now mobilizing the knight situation let's see what damage we were causing ourselves here or what damage the opponent was causing themselves i believe they have more of an uh, more of an advantage with the way that they move their pieces but for some reason they then started to panic and they lost it so um yeah so round about here obviously because i'm giving up a pawn yep so in essence maybe didn't need to do too much work there maybe I could have just brought my knight across here or something like that just to hold court on the king side so the pawn push in its own right is not too bad 
but it's the supporting paw move that then makes that a little bit wrong so maybe I could have done this pawn push here just to support the pawn or like I said just develop the knight up across here something like that but in any shakes yeah yeah that's the advantage we're talking about there it's plus three at the moment in time and um, we thought well we could potentially come across here and attack the pawn either way the, the knight's going to attack it the king's going to defend sorry so we push on to the knight so they're out and out winning here it's plus 5.6 well, 5.9 plus 6 so there's a, that's a massive advantage that the opponent had right there and we, we sensed it in our own game as well but we just thought to ourselves well no there's something that we can potentially do with our king supporting the pawns going up and it's plus 7.2 now so there's no way that we can actually win this game so it's, they're out and out winning so how is it that we actually ended up winning the game so we started mobilizing the king and then they captured so we're fairly happy because we're going to be able to take his pawn off here he's going to have two pass pawns but he's going to i'm hoping he's going to lose tempo by being distracted by what we do on the other side of the board with our knight and that type of stuff because in reality all he needs to do is just keep pushing these pawns down so the king comes down to support so we start bringing our knight in so then we've got to check on his king so he's allowed us a little bit of a win in tempo key element as we mentioned before in the uh, chess tempo workshop if you get those tempi then the opponent has to do something to that they don't want to do so he's brought his king backwards but it's still plus 7.8 so there's no way made on this earth i should even be tantalizing a draw yet alone a win so we push our pawn up trying to give them something to think about and then they push their pawn down putting a check on and then we just push our pawn up just waiting to see what the opponent does at this point in time they're out and out winning so we're basically chasing the king down winning a little bit more tempi looking to attack the pawns here try and uh, reduce them down a little bit as best possible but it's like plus point eight it's plus 8.5 here so we really don't stand a chance but we're making it look like we're still in the game with our knight's presence capturing the pawn king comes down eventually supporting these pawns so we bring our knight up so now we can bring the king down so they're putting pressure so they lose a bit of tempo by i believe moving the knight backwards it's plus plus 7.4 no it's plus 8.1 8.1 now so we bring the knight down we've got a two on one on the pawn here so at this point it's like um a draw now so we grab the pawn and then we can grab the other pawn so now we've basically equalized the position just from a bit of knight dancing blocking off the key pawns that the opponent maybe could have spent a bit more time actually pushing them down somehow but we won the tempo by doing a bit of a blitz move with the knights dancing around giving them something to think about and getting checks on the king um, so maybe the king could have mobilized itself to positions that the knight could not win the tempo and slowly but surely gravitate the pawns down to to gain the victory because they were like plus eight point something which is really quite major so that we really didn't stand a chance so now he's um, grabbing pawns so we're repositioning our knight now to hopefully potentially take a pawn or two off of theirs but they actually put their knight in front of their I could see what they were attempting to do I think I think they probably thought this pawn was going to be fast enough going down to get queened because my king is on the other side of the board but we do have a knight that can actually just block that off so we can bring the king across so they're eventually going to lose tempo with the king move and it's minus 63 point something so in essence the opponent resigned so that's how to win a chess game in real terms um it's not pretty um this is not like a, a perfect game by any means the opponent had an out and out win but in a real game of chess um realistically um you're going to have ups and downs in the games 
and it's how you basically come back from those down moments um, hoping that the opponent does make mistakes that's what we all want as chess players we want our opponent to make a mistake and we want to be able to take advantage of the mistakes that they've made um, so this was to me I'm quite pleased um, showing this game as the how to win a chess game because at the end of the day the opponent had an advantage they lost the advantage based on the attempts at what we were trying to do to where basically upset their rhythm in order for them to potentially make mistakes and lose the advantage that they had and then slowly but surely getting a better position on the board going towards through to the end game so those are the many things on how to win a chess game but in essence got to learn your basics first you've got to understand how the pieces move you've then got to then really bring it into your own sort of thought processes utilizing your own concepts as to how you're maneuvering around the board and using your own emotional uh, tendencies to really drive out what what you think is happening on the board using your own evaluation tool during the game to say well am i winning am i losing is it equal how can i make it better for myself um the opponent's got more pieces than me like this player had two pawns how can i try and adjust that in some way um there's no way i can win this but i have the confidence to say look i want to win this game and like we say if the opponent had played it correctly in this game here if they have played it correctly and they've moved their pawns down and in the correct positions rather than getting their king checked I'm going to flip the board and play it as if we were white with that advantage and see how we get on so they've got like two pawns here okay so we'll flip the board let's flip the board and let's play as white now now we're going to take the chance for the knight coming and put a check on so he puts the check on knight's protecting this pawn here now the king can just mosey on down a little bit putting pressure onto the knight i suppose maybe he puts another check on the king and the king moves a little bit further down so this is going to cause them some serious issues this is more of an aggressive type pushing forward and um, that we you would expect okay so he could put another check on uh, there's no other safe area yeah so he could put another check on king can then close down the knight i'm assuming or could come across and look to attack the pawns here what would we do keep on this line blocking the king in or come here so attacking the knight knight goes back ooh, ooh. okay so we'll take a pawn off then i suppose right that's fine so we we'll take a pawn off so we're actually causing them a bit of problems here it's not going to take where's my knight wanting to go if i go here then he's just taking a pawn can't go here can't protect the pawn in any way shape the king's not moving from this spot it's blocking this pawn off and the knight's protecting against this so it looks like the king is going to gobble up all these pawns yeah so the move there so the knight definitely isn't going to do that but whatever move is he going to do is he going to maybe try and save his pawn by pushing them up but there's no saving them pawns grabs he's kind of he's just stuck here isn't he <laughs> if he comes back around again trying to save them king just comes across and is eating all of these pawns up so that's the way that that would actually happen you know that type of thing that's what i would expect that's keeping the advantage whereas the opponent left his king sorry we're going through this but this is like a a, a nice training session again brought the king into the game thinking that it was supporting but really and truly the pawns were powerful enough by themselves so putting the checks on and really focusing on this side but they didn't need to focus on this side their advantage was these two past pawns here so now the king's going backwards when in the example that i showed the king was down here being a right menace gobbling up pawns so that's the difference in delivery and, and understanding of the power of the pawns 
So the attempt at getting these pawns down was way too late. They've all disappeared now. So now the knight is doing a single attacks towards the pawns on the other side of the board. So having that winning mentality, white would have won out if they had played it um, in that example. So there's pluses and minuses learning from each other. I'm learning from white in this sense about how to then close out those pawn ending type situations there. Just keep your king away from the knight and basically just steadily but surely make sure that they're protected the two pass pawns and then you can make your way over it's a nice aggressive king okay how to win a chess game keeping with the psychology that we're wanting to win the game not draw the game no matter how it looks try and take advantage of the concepts that we understand and know so let's just um crack on uh, let's push this pawn here and go for castling a lot of pawn moves we know what to do with that okay lovely okay let's just go here let's take simple keep it there if it's not challenged Okay, it is challenged, let's bring it back. Okay, lots of poor moves, let's put a check on the king. King's now a little bit airy at this moment, let's just push forward onto this pawn, see if we can make some space around the king. And let's grab this pawn, trying to make that space, let's just bring the queen here. Maybe trying to attempt to get to this square, but we'll see how that goes bishops blocking off this square here so if the queen did get here that would be probably checkmate yeah the bishop had to come here um the knights blocking this square so that's looking quite tasty for them so if we do take the queen then is on this square and is there anything else it's not looking too bad it's um there's no finish there's no ending so i'm just going to take the bishop off the board so we're not going to overdo it going to bring the bishop here now it's attacking the rook so if the bishop does the, uh, basically defend the bishop is not got anything defending it so the bishop can take the bishop off the board so again we changed our trajectory um, in looking at these are not quick and dirty tactics where oh and they've resigned okay so um, it was a, kind of probably too much pressure um, building towards attacking the king area and as you can see the difference between the quick and dirty tactics is position um, we're always looking for that extra follow on bit just in case um, especially if you're playing a, like a quicker game it's very difficult trying to memorize the right position that you have to be in to deliver those quick and dirty tactics type things um, I see uh, there's a few um, sites where I am actually you know I do watch them uh, where they're delivering these quick and dirty tactics type um, um, courses or videos or whatever vlogs and I'm sat there going how the heck is anybody going to remember that when you're actually in a game it has to be the perfect position for those tactics to be actually delivered and as I've mentioned in one of my recent videos um, one of the um, dirty tactics type um, players I've looked at their games on their account and um, they're losing more than they're winning let's put it that way the idea is good it's just that they're losing more than they're winning because even they cannot remember the exact position that they need to be in to deliver those perfect tactics that they're talking about on the odd occasion the ones that do they do show um, obviously then it looks successful and it looks really good and it looks magical but when you look at their account and you look at the games that they're playing they're losing quite a lot of games because they're trying those tactics out but not necessarily in the right position and then there's no follow-on from that so their opponents are then going well okay so you've done that but what about this that the other boom 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 and then they've lost material then they're getting checkmated or they've just lost loads of pieces so you have to be careful with quick and dirty tactics um, I would probably plump for 
blending the two with good positional play make sure that that tactic lands you in a nice position a bit like this particular game here um, more focused targeting pressure in the king area pressure in key pieces key squares just building on that aspect and if there is a tactic that is in there then yes follow it up but make sure you, you you've got good sure footing when you've landed rather than landing on a sheet of ice and it's so thin that you know y y nobody can stand on it okay how to win a chess game let's crack on so by now we all know how we play as a chess player the our own individual traits um, what tick what makes us tick in the game and how we how we can develop and make our game stronger during the game with our own self analysis so let's castle here so those are the key things being able to analyze yourself as you're going through the game and they're actually selecting the appropriate moves as you're going through appropriate for yourself not like book fashion or anything okay so he's attacked so let's just bring the bishop here and he's looking to sort of condense the uh, bishop down through the center and I'm going to x-ray through to the rook you can still see them pushing here so that's no problems there okay, let's go here and let's take this knight off the board okay all pretty simple let's go opposite the queen just in case it all kicks off we can take the queen off the board So we've got them thinking do they keep the queen there is it going to actually kick off and lose are they going to lose the queen sucking this pawn at this moment let's just bring the queen here supporting for now now he's x-raying through to our queen okay so that's a nice touch has it weakened his area no he's looking at winning a tempo by actually getting our knight off the board so i'm going to just bring it offline so at least we're aware of that situation so it's again looking at the blind spots we've covered those recently as well just really looking at the position so now he's gone opposite our queen just in case it kicks off which is this pawn i can't take it back okay so it's really condensing down the situation at the moment going to attack smaller piece attacking the higher piece because at this moment i'm going to lose out i'm probably expecting to lose this pawn because of the position of the pieces at the moment bishop could come and attack but i lose my bishop so in essence this pawn is definitely going to be attacking this pawn here is there anything else that i can do i can do my own attack i can do my own attack if he's attacking here i can attack there because i've got my x-ray through on this side okay so he does follow through with his attack so I'm actually going through with our attack. I think he'll push down now because the pawn's getting further advanced down the board. Okay, so that makes sense. Pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Just bring the knight across. So we're, we said that one of these pawns is going to go because of the rhythm that they'd got. It was a, I've got like a two on one here. So if he does take, then the rook can take and we're leaning on the big queen. So this opponent is utilizing some serious good targeting so they're obviously an advanced level player so we're trying to circumvent the blind spots as best possible but trying to gain some advantage in the position but they've gone really slow now okay is he thinking dropping here He's got a pass pawn. Even if he loses this pawn, then he can just move the queen out of the way and support this pawn. I would say he's probably still going to go here. So if we take, he can take again and he's on our rook and our queen. we take 
his pawn takes with a promotion rook takes his rook takes knight takes and then he that pawn goes so this is what if that's what he's thinking um yeah so he ends up being material up in a sense if he goes down that track seriously taking the time now though they were blitzing out stuff weren't they okay we'll pause until the move well, it's looking like they may have left the game maybe it was too much they were really blitzing out the moves now it's getting to potentially looking like it's complicated lines and we can claim victory or shall I just wait for the time to run out just in case they decide to make a move I think I will do and they've run out of time okay so yeah I mean in essence you can win by a capitulation of sorts where they actually leave the game um, I believe the opponent probably made it too complicated for themselves in this one and I'm gonna dare look at the analysis I believe they are actually winning because their tempo looked a little bit better than ours in terms of the exchanges whoa look at that minus seven point yeah so they were they were really out and out winning but it does look like a complicated line to take and what I said was they could just go here like this couldn't they I mean if our Queen decided to take then we went for the rook didn't we but I'm on thinking maybe if we went with the Queen and then it can just take can't you, here but then that wouldn't work for them so the Queen would have to take then the rook is off the back that might not work uh, beep, beep, beep. and then this one was definitely taken here so that was going to be the issue because we can't really defend because his bishop is actually holding court here so they could have gone with that line yeah massively winning unless of course they left because they knew they were winning and it was too easy for them <laughs> i don't know um so we went here uh, so the idea again is for them potentially going here like this and then obviously we said we were going to be attempting to go here and then they're going to take here with we're, we're not really winning anything really so we're going to take the queen like we said and what is this saying it's saying bishop d4 check oh bishop a check in here it's got a check oh i didn't put that in there right that's a computer move so we didn't put that one in so we said that he was probably going to take the queen human type thing take 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 yeah so it's not looking too bad and then he just comes down and champions this area here as a human maybe yeah so he's got the pin through boop, boop, boop. king's protecting at the minute could come across so it's down to minus minus three point something so yeah it's a bit of a chunk out of the minus seven point whatever but it was continuable but it does look a bit messy anyway a win's a win if they capitulate because it's too compl complicated uh, that does happen as well you know and this person was out and out winning basically and i've had quite a few of those where they've been out and out winning but because they've either not got the time or the skills or experience to deal with that sort of ending they've just kind of left the game because like whoa this is too much for me so in reality you can do the same thing in real games in over the board games you know if you make it too complicated for yourself then you're going to be causing yourself trouble because i didn't do anything special here the opponent did some beautiful position play um and the tempo was working in their favor so i'd made some errors in my movement uh, within this game in order to allow that i'm just going to have a look and make sure the arrows are off yet okay right just going to take a look at what i would have done differently let's go so bishop bishop 
there. Night's coming up. Hmm. Okay ish with that. Yep. So he does come down with capture. Um, I don't think. I did. I, the targeting of here, I just felt was a little bit kind of flaky. I think maybe potentially coming more this side. It's not happy with that, but I think I probably would have been happier coming here. Maybe he does that. Come here. Drops there. Come here. Yeah, I think I would have, you know, helped my queen out because the bishop being stuck in the middle here, it kind of was allowing these pawns to keep pushing down all the time. I know he was pushing down onto the white square bishop as well, but yeah, I think something like that would have helped me out a bit better. Right, okay. So we moved, 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 moved. There. So he's still attacking. So we took the knight off the board. So we didn't have to take the knight off the board. Maybe we could have just come here, attacked his bishop. Don't know if the bishop would take, get a bit snobby with the bishops. But that would have, I would have felt better with that. Yeah, so I've got a little bit kind of too arty-ish. Should maybe not have taken that knight. Because he does have these centre pawns. We do like to work around the centre. But because they're kind of getting advanced, just a simple blockage and attack. He probably would have pushed this pawn anyway. But in any event, we would have kind of blocked off the power base of the centre pawns. Interesting. How to win a chess game. We're going through this series because we were trying to highlight that. Okay, let's grab this knight. But then, oh, maybe they're going for that quick and dirty tactic type situation at them so we have to be careful don't we okay just bring the queen here okay just nice and steady just just let's go here yeah so really what i'm trying to show with these how to win a chess game is that it ain't pretty it doesn't have to be pretty and the way that you win a game it could be on time it could be because the person's overcomplicated it they're not happy with their game so they leave the game um could be because you've utilized some fantastic skill and you've actually won out with a proper checkmate type situation a whole remit of stuff but it definitely does not need to look check like a textbook type operation and uh, that's definitely not what we're looking at here we're looking at trying to improve position as best possible we're looking at, at all the awkwardness that comes with playing a chess game this person's doing quick and dirty type stuff single attacks but we're trying to be careful here now uh, let's attack here so they're moving so quick you just don't want to fall foul of anything Let's go here and let's take this bishop off the board so it looks like they're giving up a piece but reality is I mean this rook can't actually it's not supported at the minute so if we do take then the rook coming across here we can take the rook so I'm going to take the bishop So now his rook is going to be supported so I'm going to bring the knight across and castle if I can they've got me thinking you know they've gone for this crazy type opening but I don't want to fall foul of the set play type rubbish that is flying around nowadays just attack the queen and then put a check on oh it's not supported damn I thought the knight was supported there I thought I had an outpost to simple support queen's gone again
Queen's gone again, it's attacking this pawn here. Can come round the back and upset stuff. Let's just defend the back end. I'm going to take the pawn. Oh, I missed an opportunity then. I could have got a discovered check. I would have got his knight off the board. And he saw that. I'm going to take the pawn, attacking the queen. Attack his rook. Attack the king. Check. He's gonna take the pawn in front of my king, but then his queen, yeah, then his, yeah, okay. So we're covering that square anyway, so if he does take, look at him still looking for it though. Hey, damn. I could have just moved though, because I've got a check on his king. Can I not get his rook off the board? No, no. Let's go here with the check. And um, that might be checkmate, might it? Oh, dear me. Wow. I was so nervous during that game. Could tell he was like a quick and dirty tactics type player. The single moves that he was coming out with, he was trying to find those all important massive hits on my king area uh, to just basically get me um, out of the game. But as you can see, pieces were being taken off a bit at a time because positionally, quick and dirty tactics don't really have much of a place in a proper game of chess only if it's working um, really well with position play okay last one for today for the um, how to win a chess game so everything now we're just putting it in and just playing the game we know ourselves we know what we can do, we know what we can't do. Let's castle. I'm actually going to take this knight off the board. We know why, so let's just um, push through the center here. See if there's gonna be any captures. He does capture, let's capture. Uh, fingers crossed, I thought it was going to, but he didn't. So let's just bring the knight back. Don't need to be arty. And develop the knight, simple protection of the pawn. got a two on one there so if we bring the rook here supporting and that looks quite nice okay so let's bring the bishop through so we're developing the pieces and that should be it now okay so we have the options of pushing we've seen this and we go well we don't really want to do it because of x y and z i'm doing it anyway Okay, so he does take, so let's take the queen and let's take the pawn. It's even Stevens at the minute. It's just hoping, fingers crossed, maybe down, maybe 210p based on the position on the board. And it looks like they may have left the game. So when you get games like that, I mean, he might still come back on. He's got six seconds left. But when you get games like that where the opponent kind of has a feeling, well, we'll claim victory on that, they've left the game, kind of has a feeling that something isn't quite right, you know, with their position. They've not kind of got castled. So they're down, like I've just mentioned, probably too tempy in terms of development. But it's not winning, it's not a major thing. I'm gonna look at the analysis because it was probably just gonna show it as a, a draw or it might even be a slight advantage to them. You never know, let's see what the computer shows. It's drawish at the moment. Yeah, well, plus point, not point two, yeah, that's nothing. So there's nothing major to be getting bent out of shape over. But that not point two type thing, maybe we can class that as the two kind of tiny tempi that were potentially up 
which is the position on the board, uh, the lack of development of their um, king and the lack of linking up with their rooks. But it's not definite, uh, not a definite win, but some players just do not like games that look either drawish because then they have to grind out some type of end game that they're not used to doing or it's just too simple for them and they just don't want to waste their time going through a simple game but in any event if you're practiced in both of those playing the long game going through to an end game grinding an end game out if you're happy with doing that you're not going to sort of like leave a game like this if you're confident in yourself that well yes it is it looks simple but i know how to play simple then you're going to be happy playing these sort of games the exciting games of you know stuff getting you know getting a checkmate or getting a really strong position in the game and you know you're totally overawing the player they're kind of very few and far between so if you're playing somebody equal to yourself then you're gonna struggle trying to find those powerful all hitting type um strong player games where you're thinking like you're a grandmaster or something um more games are played like this where it does look like it's a draw but you have to prove that it's a draw and if the opponent makes a mistake then you learn how to develop and work around that to make it more of an advantage for yourself but time and time again i see many players leaving games like these that look like these that look like they're either a draw or it looks too simple and they don't want to play simple chess and it's not dynamic enough for them it doesn't look sexy so they lose interest that's the time where you can shine okay because that last game finished a little bit abruptly i thought well we'll make this one the last game for the how to win a chess game okay so developing the knight through attacking the pawn and it's looking to take the knight off and let's just bring the pawn up we've seen all of these positions before we know why we're doing them now it's now based on well me making the right choice for me at this moment in time let's just castle it is dead funny because um i think i've mentioned it before um when i'm talking and i'm playing the game it sounds like i feel like i'm some sort of gm or whatever i've always said i'm not a gm i just really enjoy playing the game of chess and if anything that i've said does help anybody it really that's a good that's a benefit but this type of stuff helps me develop my own game in chess. Uh, so he does capture, so nice and steady away. Getting towards his king area, I think he's going to consider queenside castling, but the queen is blocking him at the minute. So the pawn is going to attack the queen to get him away from the position. Whew, makes sense to me. Okay, so he's not actually doing that just yet. So we could sit the queen just here, just to... Uh, see what's going on or we can just put a check on the king and get the queens off the board okay let's do that simple is as simple does let's take don't really want to mess about with that and let's start pushing towards the king now so you can see a big doubling up thing going on with the rooks so getting the rooks across here doubling up are they too late to the party not necessarily because i've not got my rooks linked up bishop's got a nice little x-ray through to their king so there seems to be a moment of long pause okay so let's go for it let's grab does he take with the knight to simplify or does he get a bit arty he does take so simplifies so now we've got oh so he's gone straight in let's go here with the idea of potentially coming here sometimes you could go well that's a bit of a waste because it's not going to go anywhere he's just going to simply defend them with the rook so we can come across here and attack this pawn obviously that's easily defended and then we can start pushing up giving them something to think about because all the while he's just really focused on getting these pawns down let's push here just try and make some space for the rooks 
hopefully try and get some damage done towards maybe some of these pawns if we can and he's not paying any interest to that so does he win out if he takes takes I can replicate but if he pushes past he's got passes I'm going to take I'm going to take and then we could go around the back here looking to take this pawn off but he simply drops so we have to be steady I think we take here now if the rook takes then we can just take back with our rook we don't necessarily need to we can go here with our rook first putting a check on his king if he forgets himself and he goes here then we get the rook for free but he doesn't do okay sometimes it happens and so do we have to take I'm feeling fairly okay with capturing here now okay so we can come up now with the rook so he, he may have to consider babysitting this pawn with his rook or it just pushes down okay so he's pushing down so we can probably get central and maybe attack two pawns so his rook won't be able to defend both but we have to be mindful if his king starts coming down then he's trying to squish us okay so he's not doing that so we're going to go in between these pawns and maybe grab one of them like we said got to be careful myself so if i come here then the rook can't touch my king for a moment and touch this pawn either so he's gone protecting one pawn so we'll take this pawn off let's put a check on so tempting to go up here with my king but he's just going to push down here then i go here then i get trapped so i'm actually just coming across again kind of stopping his action from hitting my king at the moment what is my rook doing now though don't want it sat there we've got three pawns here so we do have a pawn majority is doubled nah, do we take opens up space around the king uh, I'm going to take and then move the rook because it's just going to sit there forever let's bring the rook up give it potential to attack the pawn if he then goes and defends or maybe goes with his king Okay, so he's coming round the side our king would be able to come across there so I'm going to actually just come across and attack the pawn as king comes and defends and we really had sights of coming here but his king's gone to maybe an appropriate square and so we've got a pawn majority but is it going to work for us if we push then he keeps it as a single line and then this pawn is not really got the power that we need it to have Okay, so we can put a check on his king. So that would end up being a draw. <laughs> so what am I trying to do? I just did that move to... Ooh. So if we come down, then his rook comes and defends. I'm trying to get his rook doing something it doesn't want to do. Yes, okay. So then we can push up onto here. Then he puts a check on our king. And we come... Do we go down or do we let that pawn go? Because then we take... Mm, do, or do we actually just attack and then he goes up and down Ooh, do you know what though if we went down then he can go back up and then I can't come back up to defend but then I come across here with my rook interesting times I do have more pawns on this side I sh might be able to do something or not because if he no 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 let me see let me see bringing the rook down attacking his rook is not going to exchange going to do that keep it simple don't go arty he goes back up to attack bring the rook across here keep it simple just do that his king comes down looking to cause some trouble move the king up hoping for my pawn majority to have stand me in good stead and he's pushed the pawn if we go here then he, he just locks it down mind you it's a check on him so that might not have been the best move fingers crossed okay let's put the check on now so now we've got two linked pawns this king has to go back uh doesn't go back so it's coming here we can put a check on his king with our rook 
that might be quite nice okay just a, a movement in time for now just push this pawn maybe get our king here touch onto here if we're allowed to I don't think his rook's going to be on our pawn anymore he's going to make a decision to yeah exactly all right so we do have the rook that can face off his rook if he's putting checks on our king so we could put a check on his king first just to set the ball rolling and uh, do, 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 do. And da, 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 da. yeah it's just going to keep putting checks on my king so I could come across and be behind the pawn but then he just keeps putting checks on my king my king comes down then he goes back again so that he can put another check on my king right okay so I'm going to go behind the pawn if the rook comes and puts a check we come here and it's actually coming for the pawn anyway so I'll just bring the king here so he's negated putting the check on the king and then if we go here we might be falling into a rhythm here but let's just go here it's looking a bit tight okay so now he's probably going up to protect or is he attacking I, I think I can continue doing this pawn move his rook can come up from our pawn and we can take so if we go here then he goes here then we push then he takes then we keep pushing and pushing and pushing okay right let's do that or he might simply just take okay so he's taken so now I'm off the back and he's actually squishing me let's go here we do have a check on his king as well so we can move the pawn up let's go here but then he's going to come across on this side we attack his rook his rook then comes to our side let's go here attack the rook oh <laughs> it's meant to push the pawn up oh it's equalized now oh damn on the last game as well oh all oh, these things happen they're sent to try to test us out aren't they oh man oh man let's get this king elevated up i was so busy focusing on not the right stuff and uh, okay so i think i've got this i think i've got it it's it's not a big concern he just wants to be allowed to come down with his king hmm oh man that was a waste okay so he comes around he's not wanting to do that okay i was going for a draw but we're actually playing we're actually doing the how to win a chess game oh oh okay Is this something for us? Rooked. Ah, you see, because of the position he's got there, he's got like the opposition type thing, so his rook comes down. I'm having to jostle a little bit. Okay, let's hit him again. Oh, it's, it's flashed up threefold repetition, so either one of us can click a draw. Damn. Oh, I can't believe I messed up on that pawn. Oh, he's not clicked it yet. Oh, that's so sad. I don't know what else I can do though, really, in this position. Yeah, I can just keep flashing, flashing backwards and forwards. I can't win this. I'd have to come back, but then that wouldn't be any good. it's just gonna flash up draw now anyway isn't it man if I try to do something different it's not gonna work he's got the opposition rook comes down let's try something different then okay yeah he's got the His king comes down I've let him in we could have gone for a draw but I just I'm wanting to try and win this baby come on 
he's not got opposition fully there so I'm gonna come and attack he's got the check still though so his king can come for our pawn oh his king can come for our pawn and we can't take his pawn because his king's gonna be in that corner oh my life Oh, sad time. Should have just gone for the damn draw. Ah, oh, sad times. Oh, man. Well, we tried. We tried. We tried. Damn, 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 damn. Look at my king stuck on the back. I might as well resign this one. that what was that did he he just did what I did with my pawn <laughs> and they've resigned <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> can you believe it that's how to win a chess game <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> 